Hi guys, this is Shivadi. In this session, I am going to explain programming logic to remove the duplicates from the array. This, pro this logic does not uh, have any constraint on whether the array should be in sorted or the unsorted. So this works for the both the sorted as well as the unsorted um, arrays. Now first let us discuss about the algorithm. So algorithm what we are considering here is we are going to take the two for loops. First for loop is going to be start from the index um, position 0 to the uh, last position. And the second for loop is going to be start from the first, uh, first for loop uh, plus 1 to last index. And whenever it, it find the matches uh, during this um, second for loop iteration, um, then it is basically insert the um, insert in, uh, it is basically replacing the current position element with the last position element and then it will decrease the array size and similarly it is going to decrease the counter for the current variable as well so that is the algorithm we basically implement let us see programmatically how we have done this the first one is we, we are taking the length of the input string. So in the end position is equal to input array dot length, which basically contains the array um, array length. And then first for loop is going to start from the int i equal to 0, i less than n position, and then i plus plus. Second for loop is going to start from the in for int j equal to i plus 1 position, j less than n position, and then j plus plus. If input array of i is equal to equal to input uh, array of um, j means so in the given input um, input array we have the duplicate elements so whenever it finds the duplicate element then input array of j is going to be replaced with the input array of n position minus one means last element it is going to replace and then we are considering the input array uh, length is um, decre decrementing the by one that means n position is going to be reduced by one and also j position also we are decrementing one so this logic is going to be repeated for the all the elements in the uh, given input uh, array and also here the operations whatever we are doing is on the same input array so after we done this all the things if we consider the input array from the int i equal to 0 i less than n position so those um, the uh, this basically contains the all the distinct elements so this is the um, programming logic now let us go ahead and uh, do the debug so that each iteration we can see the whether this logic is works properly or not now right click debug as java application because this is very important to understand the um, exact logic what we are doing so that it is easy to explain in during the interviews now first let us see n position is going to be the six because we have six elements in the array and uh, for i equal to zero i less than n position i plus plus so j equal to i plus 1 that means 1 it will 1 and it will start uh, processing till j less than n position is um, nothing but the 6 and j plus plus now the first element is 98 it is considered so 98 is not going to match with the any of this um, any of the uh, element in the given input array so it will not match with the any of the things so let me skip this citation okay now what happens is it will come with the next element that is i equal to 1 now i equal to 1 means 48 elements 48 elements also not repeated so that is the reason the inner for loop um, does not match with the any of the elements it will again go to the next iteration okay now let us see what is the next element is i value 2 that is nothing but the 3 so for 3 we have the duplicate elements so whenever duplicate element matches it has to replace with the last element here okay so j plus 1 position is basically replaced with the um, i value so here j plus 1 means 
sorry uh, i plus uh, j equal to i plus 1 that means j position is 3 3 means 0 1 2 3 so this element is basically replaced with the 5 element in this iteration so if i go to the next step it is matched and j is basically 3 that is nothing but the 3 means it is the uh, this position is going to replace with the element 5 so now if you see the input array after replacing so 98 48 3 5 ok now we are decrementing the end position minus minus previously the length of the uh, input is the actually the 6 now it will become 5 ok again j also we are decrementing it will go to the uh, position again so now j value become 3 now 3 means again in the whatever the input is currently 3 means it is uh, 5 actually 0 1 2 3 3 means it is 5 ok and input of what is the i value currently i value is 2 ok 2 means 0 1 2 so i value is 3 j value is 5 so it is not going to match so it will go next now see what is the j, uh, i value i value now become 3 ok so 3 and the input array whatever the position 3 is the 0 1 2 3 it is the fifth element now j plus 1 is already having the uh, that means j equal to i plus 1 means this also having the duplicate element Five, it is able to identify 5 as the duplicate elements. Now what happens is it is going to replace. Now if I go next right it is matching. So input of array of i is equal to the input array of j. So that is the reason the last element it is going to be replaced with the j position which is nothing but the element 5. Now again we are reducing the length. Now, I, uh, now length of the um, input array is going to be the 4 okay and now it is not able to identify any further it comes to the outside now if you see the input um, array now what happens is it has the elements 98 48 3 5 and remaining are the duplicate element now whatever the input array length we are going to consider still is only to fourth position less than four means zero one two three elements we are going to consider so if we go and print these values first value is 98 second is 48 third is 3 and fourth is 5 that's all so this is how basically we are going to uh, remove the duplicates by using the single array for both sorted and unsorted this is going to work thanks for watching have a nice day